Hello guys, welcome back to Dr. Jax. I am back with another video and in this video we are going to see very interesting thing in Android and it is the part of Android Jetpack components. So what we are going to do in this video, so we are going to set the background color of our application according to the image, which image we have currently and then we will set the background color according to that image. So you can find fetch the light color from that image, you can fetch the dark color from that image, it is your choice. But we are going to see how basically these things work in Android. So this is very interesting thing and if you implement this thing in your Android app then it will be going to give you completely new look to your Android app. So don't worry we are going to do see everything how this thing is work so you can also work with this using your you can fetch image from an api or you can use the image from local source so it is your choice so it is independent so you can use any image from your any source and second thing it is does not matter whether you are from java background it does not matter whether you are from kotlin background so you can see this video and then you can implement this in any language so basically i am doing going to do this with kotlin but it is very easy so we are going to see everything so don't further delay now let's start the amazing video and see how to implement a dynamic background according to image so for this first of all you have to open your android studio so i open my android studio then after this we have to create a new project so click on file then click on new and then select click on new project and select empty activity from here and click on next and from here give any project name so i give the palette demo tutorial so you can give any name it is your choice now click on finish so project is creating so wait for some time so now project created successfully and we are ready to write the code so first of all i open my chrome browser to show you what is android palette so it is the part of android jetpack so when you type here android palette so you can see this palette library is a type of api which is help to extract the colors from images so it is a part of android jetpack component so you can read the documentation for more but i am in this video i'm going to directly implementing the project so it is your choice whether you want to read the documentation or not but you can read the documentation for more features of this palette so now i will show you how to work with this so for this i open this project and inside split first of all and i delete this text view i don't need this and then from here I change the constraint layout to relative layout and it is de totally depend on your project how it is you want to use and now one thing you must know you have to give any id to that element which you want to change the color so I want to change my background color according to image so I want so here I am giving the id to this but you have to give the id to that element to which of that you want to change the background color so I give the id bg relative layout now inside this I take, take an image view here to load the image and then I will set the background color according to that image. So I think 200, 150 dp of image is fine. Then height of the image view is also 150 dp is fine. Then after this center in parent pass through and then give any id. So I give the id name here image and then for now I set the source here launcher round. For now I simply set the source. Now for using the palette I am going to use the load image from glide using the glide so glide is very helpful library to load the images whether from URL or from local source so you can use glide for everything and then after this we have to implement also the palette dependency so I open my previous one project and inside build or trader module app I need three dependency these two are for glide and one for palette so this is the latest dependency of palette 28.0.0 but it will going to show error so i recommend you use this dependency instead of latest one so i open my tutorial and paste the dependency here and then i click on sync now so now dependency set up correctly and we are ready to write the code so i will show you now how it is working so for this open your main activity so first of all i have to assign the xml id into our java id so i take a relatively out here so private latin it where and m relative bg and the type of this is relative layout and i have a one image view latin it where and i give the id name here m image view and the type of this image view now assign the xml ids into our java ids so m relative bg equal find view id r dot id dot bg rl and then we have a m image view dot find equal find view id r dot id dot so it is not showing here so let me check why it is not showing here so open this i give the id this so i have to change the id i think i give this id I image underscore view now if i try to use this 
you can see now it is appearing here so now id assigned successfully now first of all i want to load the image from url so i need two urls of image here to show you different background according to different image so for this i open my previous one project again and inside main activity i copy these urls url2 and url3 so i can copy this so now first of all after copying i will show you how it is working and i paste the both urls here so now i want to show what is the url contain so i copy one url Ctrl C copy and paste open the chrome browser paste the url here and press enter so you can see this url contain this image and now if i project is working fine according to different images so that's why i take two url here but for checking purpose you can take only one and one more thing I want to say, you can see I don't set any background color, but when we will run this application, we will going to see the background color. So now let's see how to implement the main feature of this. So first of all, you have to type here Glide. I already added a dependency. Then after this, we have to pass here with, then you have to pass the context. So then after this, you have to type here. Then after this, you have to type here load. And what do you want to load? So I want to load URL2. So first of all, I want to load URL2. That's why I type here load URL2. So you can, I am fetching the image from a remote source, but you can also fetch the image from your local source or remote room database or anything. So it is completely, it will work because Glide is work, can work with anything. Then after this, you have to type here listener. And inside this, we have to take an object here. Object and we have to request the listener and the type of listener is drawable then take two curly braces now we have to implement the member so we take your cursor here and click on implement members and select both so now it will automatically write the whole code so now after this this is the method as on load fail so if something wrong happen then you can display a toast here or log.d and i am displaying a log message image not working or anything message you can want to show you to your user and implement this log statement and if everything is work fine then we have to set the background color according to our palette so now hi how this is going to work so for this you have to type here palette this one and after this you have to type here from and we have to use the so what is the resource you can see this is the resource which we are getting you can see with this is the resource which we are getting so we have to reuse this resource and after this we have to implement the label in kotlin but in java we don't need to do anything then we have to type a two bitmap then after this after this bracket you have to type a generate then take two curly braces then after this you have to type a palette then take two this type of question mark and this is in kotlin this is a calling of lambda function then after this you have to type a palette again then we have to implement the label dot let and this is done now this it contains this color code so i have to take a variable here int color i declaring a variable of int color because it will return the color code in, in the int value so then i have to type this it dot vibrant swatch so what is vibrant swatch so it will return the dark color then if you want to re take the extra dark color from image then you can use the get dark color and you can use light vibrant swatch so you can read the documentation how it is work so there are lots of method to because if we want to use the fetch the light color from image if we want to fetch the dark color from image and if we want to fetch only specific color from image so these are the methods so i am going to use vibrant swatch but you can use any and after this we have to convert this color into rgb then these question marks and columns are the kotlin method so if you're working in java then you don't need to use this by default if we not get any color from image then by default we are going to use zero so zero is white color and after this we have to set the color so i already set the id on our relative layout so what is the id of relative layout m r l b g so i have to type here m r l b g and after this you have to set the set background color and inside this you have to pass this in color id so that's it now at last what we have to do we have to load this image so we have to load our image into our image view and this is done and one more thing we have to type here it should return anything so i am returning false here and also i have to return something here so i have to return something here so return false here again so that's done now our program is finally ready and now it's time to check out whether the app is working or not so firstly i am using loading the url2 and then i will load the url3 so you will going to see the different background color according to url so i run this application so gradle is building so it is not working so why it is not working because uh, it's not loading any image why 
because we are not add a internet permission inside our application and glide require internet permission so uses permission internet then close this now run this application again so you can see image load successfully and by default the color we don't set any color on our background but here you can see orange color is appearing here due to according to our image so now let's see the using by using url3 so instead of i want to load the url3 this time so i run this application again and let's see what background color we are going to get so you can see this time i load second image and this time i'm getting the yellow color according to that image so i hope guys you like this tutorial and if you have any question you can comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video and please share the channel and please share this video so if you have any query you can comment down below and this is very amazing thing android and you can use it in any project so thank you see you soon in next amazing video